Support the production of more videos by visiting the support move section on my website. The link is in the description below. Thank you and enjoy. So up until recently, we've talked about how atomic theory has sort of developed over the years. But now we're going to talk about modern atomic theory. So we'll start with the structure of the atom specifically. So let's go over a few notes. Atoms are electrically neutral. That's one thing that we need to know. Right? They have no charge. We'll talk more about that in just a second. Another thing is that, as you can see to the right here, atoms are shaped like spheres. I've drawn a circle, but you can just imagine that in 3D, and we'll get to that in just a second. Another thing, that atoms contain three subatomic particles, which we've actually mentioned already. But I'll show them here. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. Okay, And these, these subatomic particles are often represented by these little shorthands where protons will be P plus, P with a plus sign to indicate that they have a positive charge, neutrons N to the zero, indicating they have no charge, electrons being E minus, which I think we've seen before. Okay. Now let's look to the right here, and we can see that in the center here we've got the nucleus, which of course that's kind of ugly. Let's try that again. This is the nucleus, which of course contains the protons here in green, which are positively charged. B plus right there. And the gray things with the little zeros, those are the neutrons. Okay? So the protons and the neutrons are in the center in the nucleus. And they're therefore called nucleons, right? Because they are inside the nucleus. Okay. Now, outside of the nucleus is where the electrons hang out, and I've sort of shown them out here as along the dotted line. But they can they can exist in this um, this space here, uh, which is actually called the electron cloud sometimes. And where they'll exactly be, um, I'm not going to really talk about now. That's something that we'll see later. For now, we'll just kind of say that. Protons and neutrons are in the nucleus, whereas electrons are outside the nucleus. Okay. Now, I mentioned that um, protons have positive charge, electrons have negative charge. They have a relative charge of protons having plus one, electrons being minus one, which is why they're electrically neutral, right? If, um, and specifically, specifically, it's that the number of protons, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So we think about the number of positive charges and the number of equal and opposite negative charges is equal, so we have overall no charge. right? And of course, neutrons don't have charge. Okay. Um, so that's their relative charges. Their absolute charges are, are in coulombs, and those are listed here. We're not going to really need those right now, but those are numbers that we can reference later for certain, pra uh, certain types of problems. Um, and their their masses here. So we've got relative mass and absolute mass. Absolute mass being in grams. We've seen grams before. So those are just numbers that are listed there. I'm not going to really talk more about them. Uh, these are more reference values. But the relative mass, they're in AMU. And AMU stands for atomic mass unit. And we're not going to really define that quite yet. We're going to talk about that in another video. Um, but for now, what we kind of what I kind of want you to pay attention to is that protons and neutrons have approximately the same mass, right? The same the same mass here. The relative masses they're both approximately one, right? Neutrons are a little bit more massive than protons, but both of their uh, relative masses are approximately one. They're about the same, have about the same mass, and you can actually see that here in absolute mass. They're really really close in terms of their masses. Um, whereas electrons are about a thousandth of that uh, uh, that value of that one, and so they're not very massive at all. And so, generally speaking, protons and neutrons pretty much account for the mass of an atom. Okay. Now, another thing I do want to mention is kind of the size and the size differences here. The nucleus is about 10 to the negative 15 meters, which is a femtometer. Okay. Really, really tiny. Now, the diameter of the entire atom is about 10 to the negative 10 meters. And that's actually, there's actually a particular name for that as well. And it's angstrom, one angstrom. The angstrom has the unit, or the letter A with a little circle on top of it. So, 
this is generally speaking, of course, not all atoms are the same size, but generally speaking, it's about it's a, on the order of these these values. So what does this kind of mean? Well, 10 to the negative 10 versus 10 to the negative 15, that means that the diameter of the, the entire atom is about 100,000 times 100,000 times the size of the nucleus, right? The diameter of the nucleus. That's kind of insane. So what that that means is that this this area outside the nucleus really is mostly empty space. The analogy that some people like to use is that if you put a marble in the middle of a football stadium or a soccer stadium, that's kind of, and then the rest of the space is where the electrons can flow, right? The marble would represent the nucleus. Every, the space outside of it would be the, the space where the electrons can flow. That's kind of how it would be. So it's really mostly empty space. And this drawing is not to scale, right? Um, if we, if, 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 the atom actually was had this diameter. It would be a really, really, really tiny dot inside here that I probably so small that I couldn't even draw it using this program. But the point is that atoms are mostly empty space, and I hope that that kind of makes sense uh, for now about the structure of the atom, and how we look at it with modern atomic theory. So I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to hit it with a like and subscribe for more content. Also, follow Move University on the different social media links in the description below. Thanks and happy studying.